I'm going and to I mute. mute myself because of background sound, and so I don't interrupt, and so there. Don't get mad at the dog. I'm not mad. I'm just trying to mitigate and let the conversation continue. And it's Sati, not the dog. I keep forgetting the name. Trust me. That's why I keep saying that. <laughs> I literally, it, it, it cringed me to say the dog. I really don't want to. And I guarantee you by next week, I'll forget the dog's name again. It takes a mm -hmm. while for me to get names in my head. Trust me. Right. But it, there's no disrespect in it. Beautiful dog. That was a beautiful video Anna did the other day. That dog is gorgeous. Okay. Saved my I, life several times too. Thank you, Santi. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I picked this video, and I'm not going to give you my answer to what I'm saying because it's going to be disagreed on in a way. I need to stop doing that. I don't know which direction these people are going to go. So <laughs> I just don't anymore. Every time I think I figured it out, what's the what's the Roddy Piper had a statement? Every every time you think you know the answer, I change the question. So at this point, I have no idea what's going to be said. I know the reason why my answer is the way it is. So let's go into the video. Brief intro. When I was little, I used to visit this friend of mine very often, both because I loved playing with them and because my parents weren't at home most of the time because of work. This friend of mine had a nanny that had to look after them and also had to do some chores like cleaning, cooking for them, and help them do their homework. The problem with her, we'll call her evil nanny, was the fact that she wouldn't always do those things and rather sit on the couch and watch movies and stay on her phone. So my friend wouldn't always do their homework, and because of that, they didn't have very good grades, and their parents, we'll call them FP, were quite concerned about it. But when they asked Evil Nanny about it, she'd say that she tried to make them study, but they simply wouldn't listen to her. My friend's parents believed in the first place, but after some time, they started noticing that she wasn't doing the other things she had to do, and started considering firing her. She remained with my friend for another month or so before things went the wrong way and she found out that FP were going to fire her. My friend and I were in their room watching a movie when suddenly we heard evil nanny screaming that they couldn't fire her and that she always had done the chores and everything she was asked to do. But she didn't know that my friend told them otherwise. But when FP told evil nanny that they knew she was lying, she rushed to the room where my friend and I were and locked the door and when FP arrived, the following conversation occurred. Note, I was six when it happened, so I don't remember everything in detail. Evil Nanny, what are you doing? I'm going to take her away. You don't deserve her. I'm the one who raised her, so she's better off with me than with you. If you don't let me go with her and her friend, I'll call CPS and tell them that you took her from me. Yeah, she really said that. I'm calling the police if you won't leave this house right now. You can call whoever you want, you son of a bee. I'm not leaving. FP proceeds to call the police and tell them what's happened. At this point, both me and my friend were terrified. But when the police arrived and FP went outside to talk to them, Evil Nanny unlocked the door, grabbed me and my friend by an arm, and dragged us to the garage where her car was. She then made us get in the back seat and tried to drive off, but luckily one of the police cars was parked in front of the garage door so she couldn't escape. And after that, she got dragged outside of the car. Evil Nanny got arrested and sentenced to five years in jail and 10 more of probation, plus she had to pay 4,500 euros to FP, which FP saved for my friend's college fund. But after they got a new nanny who helped her with her studies, she got a full ride scholarship and used the money to buy a scooter. To this day, we're big friends and we work for an international transport company. I don't give two shits about this whole damn story. <laughs> the hell I look like hearing about some rich ass folks who got two living nannies, full ride scholarship, and you work for an international company because you both were able to fail forward out of mediocrity. 
right, that was my take. Wow. I, I can't tell whether it is real or not because I don't have the reference of so what it immediately jumped out was, wait a minute, your parents went out to talk to the cop. Like, why didn't the cops come in? They don't. They, but that might be different in Europe. Huh. I don't know. Something feels off about this. I'm not sure. Okay, I'll, then I'll give my answer. This story is so bad it wouldn't even make a good Lifetime movie. <laughs> this was effing awful. I have no idea what... The, first of all, you went from zero to a hundred. You kidnapping kids and trying to tell somebody, hey, I'm going to tell people in their house that you kidnapped the kids from them. From her, I'm sorry. Kidnap the kids from her. Uh -huh. You get in the house, which is funny, funny as hell to me. And then you lock yourself in the bedroom. I guarantee you, there is not a door on the planet that has my kids behind it where my foot would not have kicked the door in. But we're going to hold a conversation outside the door for what reasons? But now let's get to the crim that a crim of the BS of the crim. How the hell did you get from the damn bedroom to the garage door? If I'm outside the bedroom door. Yeah, that's me. Um... I, I, hey, lady, what? Unless the bedroom has a sliding door beside the garage and you just slid the door open and get. <laughs> what the hell is you talking about? I'm not even going to give you the credit of this was a good story. This was a horrible damn story. This was terrible. This was absolutely terrible. I guarantee you, you've got my kids locked in the door. I'm not leaving the door. You ain't going to have the ability to go from the bedroom to any garage, whether it's ranch style home, whether it's a two-story home. I don't even care if you have the cabin of the Walters. You're not going to get from the bedroom to the garage to do whatever. So, yeah. No. This, this was really bad. It's not going to happen. And I still got to go back to the original thing that I said because this this whole story would have been short and sweet to the point. You grab my kid, AKA you put your damn hands on my child and drag them to a bedroom. Unless I have the door of Fort Knox to my child's room, my foot is going through the door. Period. We're into this discussion. But you want me to believe this woman had a I, I can't believe that you fired me so much that I'm willing to have a, do a felony and kidnap kids in your house, call the cops in your house and tell <laughs> them that even though I'm working for you, both these kids are mine and you mm -hmm. took them. 